about, today we're going to do a little exercise about seeing how the internal uh, turtle class works and how it's an example of an object-oriented programming paradigm, and then also build our own little turtle. So um, we can start off with the typical um, way of um, starting off a turtle program. So we've got a um, an initialization where you import a turtle, create our screen, create a pen, just like we back, did back at the beginning of class. Uh, remember, oh, that was like seven or eight weeks ago. Whoa, but here we go. Let's remember how to do this. Um, so now I've got a new window with the turtle right in the middle. Remember that we can do, um, oops, uh, we can tell our pen to, um, to move forward and run that. And now move forward. Um, what else can we do? We could tell our pen to change its color. So maybe that pen color is red. Um, and now it draws a red line. And we can also tell it to hide turtle. Yep, so now it's just going to draw a red line for us and then go away. Um, so remember, um, so the pen is an instance of the turtle class. Um, so the turtle represents the abstract idea of a turtle, and pen is a particular one. You may not have tried this before, but you can actually make a second pen. Um, turtle, we're just going to call our turtle constructor again. Um, so create a new pen2, and just for grins, let's tell our pen2 to turn right by 10 degrees before going forward by 100 and, and then hiding itself. So, uh, whoops, I forgot to make pen2. Let's do that. All right, so now we have a red turtle went forward, drew a red line. It hit itself, now the black turtle went forward. So we could have given this one a color too. Um, so now we have two turtles. Um, in fact, we could go ahead and make a whole bunch of turtles. Um, so just like any other objects, we can make a list of turtles. Let's do a list of turtles. And let's do, um, maybe let's have, well, there are 360 degrees. If we do increments of 10 degrees each, then there'll be 36 turtles. So let's, um, in each one of them, let Let's put a new, um, so this uh, this turtle, let's create a turtle. Um, it's a new turtle, um, new turtle here. And now we can um, accumulate the, all these turtles in our turtles list. Append this turtle to the turtles list. Remember, this is calling a calling the append method on the list object, the turtles object, which is an instance of a list. So now we just have a list of um, a bunch of turtles. Uh, let me comment this for a moment so we can see what's going on here. Um, so now we've got a whole bunch of turtles. They're all drawn at the same spot, so we can't tell the difference. But now turtles is a list. It's got a turtles. Um, it's got 36 turtles in it. So we could go for each one of these turtles. Let's do our uh, range len turtles, which is going to be 36 also. Uh, let's get out, let's get the turtle back out. Um, so now we're looking at turtle, um, turtle i. So this turtle, now let's do the same thing here. So we just uh, uncomment. Um, it's going to, um, I could, uh, let's keep it calling this turtle. This turtle, tell it to set its color to red. Um, tell it to go forward, and then this turtle, hide turtle. Now this will be kind of boring because they're all going to go forward the same amount, and so da -da 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 -da. yeah, big deal. Um, so, meh, um, but if we had each one of them turn right by the um, by a corresponding amount by its index, let's have this turtle turn right by. Uh, if we just said i, then that would be 36, you know, 0 degrees, 36 degrees, that would not be very much. What if we did i times 10? Then in 36 um, turtles, we'd go all the way 360 degrees around the, around the screen, or around the circle. So now we have a bunch of different turtles. Um, I'm getting a little bit 
tired of waiting for all of this. So there's a little command you can run to tell, um, uh, what is it? Um, uh, is it turtle dot uh, set um what is it it's turtle or is it just speed um so i think it's speed zero um so that makes it go at maximum speed does it it's still doing the tracing around i think it's uh what's it tracer zero is that right Uh, okay, so I forgot exactly what to do. Let's ignore that, whatever. Um, so we'll just wait for it to, to, to go. Um, so now we've done this for our main turtle here. Uh, we could do, uh, we could have a little um, random color function here. Um, or yeah, let's just, let's just call it. Um, uh, let's just make a random color right here. Um, so we can say color random choice from um, blue or whatever other colors. Um, and now we have a bunch of different colors and it should be a little more colorful of a, yeah, that's nice. Okay, uh, so let's, uh, so that's a little example of um, how we can um, use turtle as an object. Um, so each time here we called a particular uh, method on this turtle. Uh, so we knew um, each turtle had a different color. Each turtle had a different angle. Uh, so in particular, actually let me, let me let this run all the way through so we can see what's going on. Um, so each one of these turtles um, gets its own angle, its own position at the end somewhere around the circle. Um, and it's doing this animation thing just to show us what's going on. But OK, now we have this little colorful star thing, which is yeah, maybe a little bit pretty. I don't know. Um, so let's, uh, let's have a look at our turtles and figure out how they're different. So we got turtles. Um, let's look at what, what's turtle 0. Turtle 0 is going to be this one that's hiding off at the end of this line. Let's tell them to show turtle. Yeah, so it's that one right here. Uh, so what attributes does this turtle have? Uh, we we got to know what its position is. So it's at 100 um, x and 0 y. Um, whereas if I do turtles 1, the next turtle, OK, these are a little bit more complicated numbers. Um, but um, uh, if I do turtle 12, no, what is it, turtle 11? No, um, which turtle is this one? So we halfway around, oh, ha halfway around would of course be 18. Um, so negative uh, 100 would be that turtle there. Okay, um, so each turtle has its own position. They have different positions depending on where they are on the circle. Uh, what else do they have? Um, they're all facing different angles. So like if I told turtle 18, to go forward by 10 now. Turtle 18 went forward that way, so it, um, it knows that it's facing west-ish, um, if we think of north up. Um, so it went to the left um, by 10 pixels, and it knew to go that way and not some other way because it remembered what angle it was at. Uh, so a, uh, let's just start making a list of these. So turtle has um, you don't know that these are what the, they're actually called, but it needs to somehow store the x and the y position, an angle, and it looks like it also needs a color. Um, it has a couple other things too, like I guess a fill color. So this is really the line color maybe. Um, and then, uh, so let's list what other, what attributes a turtle had. So, um, so sorry, we just did the attributes. Now we'll list the methods. Uh, so what methods did we use on turtle? Uh, we had some way to tell it to go forward, um, and we had a way to tell it to turn right and set its color and 
um, hide turtle, but I'll just ignore the hide turtle. So the, the main things we did were um, we have ways of, we have methods that change the attributes um, like the, to do x and y. Um, uh, so fo a forward doesn't change angle, it just changes x and y. Um, right and left don't change x and y, they just change angle. Uh, so as a little exercise, let's pretend that we didn't have turtle at all. So whoops, lost a turtle. Uh-oh, uh-oh, okay. Uh, all right, we're, uh, we're up a creek because we don't have what a turtle is. Uh, let's just say, we, I don't know what a turtle is. Um, we haven't defined turtle. Ah, what do we do? Um, or how was the turtle class implemented at all? Um, so under the hood, that canvas, that place where the turtle was running, was just a canvas. We know how to do canvases. So let's do it. So um, how do we make a canvas? Well, um, yeah, I, you would probably just bring up the, the template code here. Um, but I'll, I happen to remember how it goes. So um, uh, we make a window by doing dkinter dk. Um, and so now we have a, an empty window. OK. Um, and then we can make a canvas, dkinter canvas. And it's going to be inside that window. And we give it a width of, let's give it 500, and height of 500. And we need to tell it to pack it, pack the full window around this canvas. Uh, so now we have our window there. Eh, title's wrong, but whatever. Um, OK, so now we have a drawing place, but we still haven't defined turtle. Uh, so let's make ourselves a, uh, a turtle class. So we, need, we know that our turtle needs to have these attributes um, and these methods. Uh, we might deviate a little bit um, from the exact names that Turtle originally had, um, but let's let's just run with this. Um, so how do we make a turtle? So you need to say, uh, well, Turtle is a class. It's got um, clearly it's got to have some initializer or a constructor. The constructor always takes a self to um, uh, so it takes a particular turtle that's sort of in the process of constructing itself. And we need to make sure that we give this self object um, its proper initial values for max, y, angle, line color, all that. Uh, so let's say that, um, oops, uh, let's set the x, let's start it off at 0. Uh, so x and y start off at 0, 0, like, like the turtle did. We'll have to think about how the, um, how the drawing works in a little bit. Um, I'll get to that. Um, but so we got our um, x, y angle, we'll start off angle at 0, 2, and our line color can start off at, well, I think it starts off at black, right? That's the default. Okay, um, so now we have a constructor. We have a way of making a empty turtle. Um, so now we've got, now this line should at least work, our first loop where we create a bunch of turtles. Now we should have that. Uh, so we've got a bunch of turtles, but they're not drawn anywhere, and we're already failing to to do this. Our turtle doesn't have a write method, so let's let's make our um, let's make our methods for write. So we need to tell it how to turn right, and um, it's going to take how many what angle to do. This angle is in degrees. Turns out it's e it's a lot nicer to represent angles internally in radians. So do you remember how to convert degrees to radians? Um, so angle in radians. So we take our angle in degrees, and then whatever the, the um, uh, remember that um, pi radians is, a, um, is 180 degrees. Or maybe a better way to think of it is a tau radians is a whole turn around the circle, and tau is 2 pi. Um, so uh, if we want to go a, a whole way around a circle, uh, 2 pi, um, in, um, in 360 degrees, so this is angle in degrees, divided by a degrees times a radian measure to get us around a circle. So this is our conversion factor here. Um, so we're going to need math.pi, so I'm going to need to import math here. Um, and then, yeah, we got this times 2 divided by 360. I can simplify that by taking the 2 out of the denominator also, so it's just pi over 180. So that's our angle in radians. Um, so what do we do? If, if we want to turn right, then that's kind of taking us um, uh, 
So turning left would be increasing the angle in a conventional way. So if we want to turn right, then we take our angle in radians and um, subtract off that angle in radians. So notice that this is a local variable. Angle, radians, and angle degrees are just local parameters. I'm not setting the overall turtle's angle to that. You know, the turtle needs to remember what angle it was. Um, uh, and we're, we're not telling it to set its angle to this. There's a different method on the turtle class that tells it to set angle. We're, turning it to, we're telling it to turn right by that much. So we want to change the angle by this amount. Now, this angle radian and angle degree will go away at the end of this method call, but self.angle is going to stay there. Um, so we're, we're changing something that's on the turtle itself. Uh, so we're remembering that change. Uh, so now we should be able to at least get past this line. Uh, okay, now it doesn't have a color. You know, uh, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and take a little liberty and um, rename things um, to be a more conventional naming. So um, it can more conventionally, um, we use a function called, or we, if we wanted to set something about a, a class, we'd use a set underscore color. Um, so this won't work with the original turtle anymore because it uses those unconventional old names. But now I can define a set color method. So how do we define that? Well, it needs its self. And then what other parameter did it take? Um, took what the new color to be is. So we can, um, and actually let's just be explicit. Let's set, tell it to set the line color and then set the line color here. So now we're giving it a new line color. Um, so we've got a parameter to the function, which is now a local variable called line color. Um, and when we separately have this self dot line color, um, which is the color that the turtle is going to draw its line in. Uh, so if we have um, our line color here, um, we want to tell the, um, the turtle's line color we want to assign that to be the line color that was passed to the function. Uh, so this is basically telling this turtle, hey, uh, change what your line color is. Instead of it previously being um, this, uh, this previous color, whatever it was, now assign it to be the new color that we gave it. So instead of black, it'll be whatever one of these, red, green, blue. Uh, so now we go. Okay, it has no attribute forward. Okay, now we're going to get into a little bit of a tricky business because um, turtle, um, the, the turtle package, um, the built-in turtle package, kind of smoothed over a couple of details for us. It made it so that we didn't have to know what, um, how to draw things, but when we call forward, that actually does draw something. So we need to, uh, we need to figure out how we can, uh, can draw, but let's first at least figure out how to update positions, and then we'll figure out how to draw. Uh, so what's the first thing we do? So um, we need to tell it to, uh, we need to have the, the self parameter come in here. And now what do we need? We need a, a amount um, to go forward by. Um, and so this is like forward by a certain number of pixels, maybe, I guess. Uh, okay, so uh, if we wanted to, uh, to implement forward, uh, what do we need to change? We don't need to change angle um, like we did here. We're not changing line color, but we are changing X and Y. Uh, so we need to make sure that we change x, and x is always going to get incremented by something, and then our y is also going to get incremented by something. So how do we compute that? So I'll spare you the trigonometry. Um, basically what we need to do is uh, it's going to be pixels times something. So whatever, we're going to get some direction, and then we're going to go pixels units in that direction. Uh, so what's the direction here? Uh, well, this is ma uh, we're going to take the cosine of the current angle, and since it's in radians, we don't need to scale it any. That was great. Um, and then this uh, the y gets changed by the sine of the angle. So we should see that we now have um, the yeah, at least that part works. Now we're at hide turtle, and that didn't work. We're not even showing turtles anymore, um, so we can just comment that out, um, or we could implement a dummy function that doesn't do anything. Um, Okay, so now we've got a bunch of turtles. They should all have the right positions. Let's check that. Um, so turtles, turtle zero should have uh, a x of 100, y of zero, like before. 
what was that, turtles 18, um, should have x of negative 100 and y of, okay, that's pretty darn close to zero, sure. Um, so, and it, so it looks like we're computing the positions of these turtles correctly. Um, now for a little final flourish, let's actually draw the darn things. Uh, so here's where we get into um, where the turtle method did some magic for us, or the built-in turtle class did some magic. It, cre it sort of created its own canvas as part of creating the turtle and managed that by itself and made sure it used an existing canvas it was, if it was already created. Um, the simplest thing for us to do is to have this turtle remember what canvas it was created on. Uh, so we'll just add that to the constructor and store it on the turtle itself. So when we construct a turtle, we need to tell it, this is a turtle that's going to live on this canvas. Uh, so now we've got a bunch of turtles that are all on this canvas. And now the forward method can just use the canvas to draw on. Um, so we're going to need to draw a line. And, well, it needs to go from, uh, from a starting position, uh, self x and self y, to an ending position. Okay, well, hmm, wait a second here. So um, I need to, I needed to know where did it start before we even added this on. So I need to restructure this code so that instead of going ahead and, and changing x and y, I need to remember where we came from so we can move to there. So what I'll do um, is instead of going, okay, this is kind of doing two things at once. Let me unpack this. So it's taking self at x and adding this scale to it. And this is taking self.y and adding this, uh, this increment to it. So what I'll do is I'll just break this up into two steps. Um, so I can first do uh, kind of new x, new x and new y equals that. And then later we'll do self.x equals new x, self.y equals new y. Uh, so now I've broken this up um, but if all I need to do to um, to get this um, is if I just draw a new uh, if I draw a line from new x from self that x and self that y to new x and new y, then this is almost right. But actually, by this time, I've already changed the x and y position. So all I need to do is just take this these two lines and move them, cut, paste below the draw line. So we just don't change x and y until we're done drawing the line. There's other ways I could have done that, but this is a simple way to do it. Let's try that. So now, um, oh, right, it's not draw line. It's a create line, isn't it? Because uh, there's nice ways of looking at this otherwise. And OK, so now I have a coordinate system issue. Um, so. Hmm. Uh, I need to make sure that when I draw these things, I actually draw them uh, at the right position. So maybe what I'll actually do um, is, uh, so this, this is kind of two separate things. I want to draw the line at the right position, uh, but I also want to change the location. So I, I wouldn't want to make this create line too complicated. Maybe what I'll do is I'll make a new function. Does it need to be a, a method on this class? Um, well, it, it does need to know the canvas, so let's just um, let's make a draw line function, and uh, it's going to go from x1, y1 to x2, y2. But what it's going to do is it's going to um, draw a line in the transformed coordinate system, where the middle is zero, zero, and and uh, positive y is up. So um, I'm going to take this uh, create line and actually put it up here, um, and we'll figure out what the what the right parameters are to create line. And then um, I'm going to call our own draw line function method um, with the x1, y1, x2, y2. So now all I need to do is, in this function, figure out how to shift the coordinate system uh, so that the middle is in, in the middle. Um, and now I'm thinking, hmm, I got to know where the middle is. So I actually got to know what not only what the canvas is, but what's the um, total width and maybe the, let's do the canvas width. 
and the canvas height. It turns out there's actually magic ways of asking the canvas what its width and height are, but yeah, this will be easier. Um, so this turtle just remembers what canvas, what its canvas's width and height are. Um, so we'll just add it here. Uh, so it remembers these canvas width and height. And then we need to make sure that we, when we create the turtle, we tell it what the canvas width and canvas height are. And we didn't have those variables, so we could put them up here. So we'll make it... Uh, so uh, I'll do canvas and tell it to... When we create the canvas, we'll give it this width and the height. Um, to do. Okay, great. Um, so now you would say, well, we we could have just used these global variables, um, but then this um, this turtle would only work in this particular context where we happen to have a global variable named canvas width. Um, so by putting it on the class, by the putting it on the instance of the class and the constructor here, then we will be able to move this turtle around and call it from other programs and whatever. Um, so this is good practice, even though we don't actually need to do this right now, but we'll have it as good practice. Same thing with the canvas itself. Uh, maybe I'll show an example later of how we can make multiple canvases. Okay, so uh, let's just do this coordinate system switch. Uh, so uh, where is the uh, where's the origin x? Um, so origin x was uh, half of the canvas width. So I just do canvas width over 2. And origin... The y, y coordinate of the origin is height of uh, half the height. So, um, if we're thinking about, you might want to draw this out, but I think I can, I think I can figure this out in my head. Uh, but let's try this. So, we need, we know that we need to start at the um, at the x and y position um, of the origin. Uh, so, our um, we're going to have something. Uh, so the x, so this is x one right here, and then here's y one. It's got to be origin y plus something. And then we're going to have x2 and uh, y2. Um, OK, so um, what do we do? So we know that we need to take that origin x. And uh, if we wanted to draw a line at x1, that's just like um, if we wanted to draw starting from 0, then we just add 0 to it. So that's adding x1 uh, to the origin x and add x2 to the to the end position. Uh, so origin x plus x2. You could have also thought about this as we just do x1 plus origin x or whatever. Um, but uh, there we go. So now, um, uh, what about y? Uh, so we could do the same thing for y, um, but uh, y2 here. Uh, but actually, if we wanted to make um, positive y going up, remember canvas coordinate systems have positive y going down, we can just subtract y1 instead of adding it. So that should keep us um, going in the right direction. Um, if I did this all right, um, then we should just be able to run the thing. And uh, what did I skip? Oh, comma right here. Okay, run this thing. Um, oh, and there's our um, there's a little star thing. We forgot the colors. Uh, so it turns out um, we we should have told the um, draw a line. What uh, draw a line should have created a line with the right color. Was it color or is it stroke? I think. Um, so we can use self dot color here. Um, is our line color, line color. Yep. Uh, so it wasn't stroke. What's it? Um, color. Nope. Uh, fill. Yes. All right. Got it. So there's our um, there's our little star, drawn with a turtle that we just live coded right now, um, and uh, I'll post this code up along with this video. So um, we didn't need turtle, we can do it ourselves. All right, all done.